As the final seconds ticked off the clock here in Bloomington, the Indiana Hoosiers watched an opportunity slip away. But while one opportunity was lost, they were able to take advantage of another. One that showed the nation and their Indiana fans that this team is pretty good at football. You thought you could play, now you know you can. And but again, we've had some, we've had the last couple of years, I mean, some games where we've actually played very well. What we have not done has been a consistent team. And this team's a little bit more consistent. I think we can play with anybody in the country. And, um, you know, I, I think people around here are starting to realize that this is a really, really good football team, a really good football program. And we've known that, you know, for the past few years. So, like I said, we can play with anybody. Uh, when, we, when we play as a team, we're really, really good. It just shows what we're capable of. I mean, we just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, the number one team in the nation, and it, it's pretty exciting. We go into every single game thinking we're going to win. And, you know, w w having such a great start to the season, again, we thought we were going to win this game. And we weren't even playing our best, you know. We we're not even close yet. So it's, it's very encouraging, and uh, we're just excited for what's to come. It's going to be a great year. The tough loss against the top-ranked Buckeyes will certainly be a difficult pill for the Hoosiers to swallow, but there is encouragement surrounding the Indiana program, especially considering that the Indiana Hoosiers staged their late-game comeback without two of their star players. I mean, we got you know, a good tailback and a, you know, and a good quarterback that can't go against a good team, and the next guys are coming out and playing to give us a chance, and that's a sign of your program growing. And uh, Again, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased about that, and uh, we want to keep uh, that, that, to me, is a part of program development. Nate sets the standard in that room and for the whole offense for how you got to get ready to play a football game. And I think Xander's kind of taking some notes from him and just prepared himself a little bit better. And, you know, he came out and he played his butt off today. And, you know, we didn't, it wasn't, you know, the, the team, we didn't play well enough to win. But, you know, I'll, I'll take that kid in my corner every day. Every week. He's a competitor. Um, got a lot of heart. Teammates rally with him and he's, he's better than he was a year ago. I, I'm always preparing like I think I'm going to see the field. You know what I mean? It's, especially, like I said, coming out of experiences from last season, I know not to, you know, take any week for granted. We circled tomorrow because we didn't think today was a big day. It was just the next one. And tomorrow's the next day. And we want our kids to come in tomorrow and just keep getting better. We might keep stubbing our toe, but we're just going to keep moving. And it's, it's just fun to coach these guys. It, it beats working for a living. Their loss against the Buckeyes is the Hoosiers' first of the season, but there are still plenty of opportunities ahead for this Indiana team. And those are opportunities that this team doesn't want to miss. From Memorial Stadium, I'm Jessica Wimsat, allhoosiers.com.